Introducing the Game Changer, the Tesla Model 2 priced at $25,000, poised to dominate the 2025 EV race with its revolutionary features, particularly its lightning-fast charging capability of just 10 minutes, courtesy of the cutting-edge 15% LFTP battery technology developed by Cattle, as confirmed by CEO Jiang. What adds to the excitement is Tesla's decision to integrate this battery production technology into its Nevada factory, ensuring the retention of the $7,500 federal tax credit. However, despite these remarkable advancements, one significant hurdle remains for the Model 2 to claim its spot as the top EV of 2025. So, what's delaying Elon Musk from releasing the Model 2 sooner? The commencement of next-generation compact vehicle production in Austin might hold the answer, potentially aligning the timeline for the launch of next-generation platform vehicles by 2025. Delving deeper into the battery technology collaboration between Cattle and Tesla, it's evident that the Model 2 stands as the prime candidate for the implementation of the LFP battery type. CEO Zheng's optimism regarding cost reduction for the Model 2 underscores the potential for this partnership to make the $25,000 price tag a reality. Furthermore, with a 53 kilowatts battery capacity sourced from Cattle's top-notch LFP battery, the Model 2 promises a range of approximately 250 miles and a rapid charging capability from 10% to 80% in just 25 minutes. Despite competition from electric vehicles like the BID Dolphin, Volkswagen ID2, MGMG4, PUO E38, Citroen EC3, Kia EV2, and Renault 5, all boasting similar technical specifications and price points. The Model 2's inclusion of government tax incentives further strengthens its appeal to prospective buyers. However, we still don't know the price of these batteries. Being an LFP cell, Xingxing could be considerably cheaper than lithium ion cells but their fast charging capabilities come at a cost. Therefore, they are expected to be priced at around $1 per kilowatt hour. Elon Musk has said that a range of 300 miles is enough for daily driving without worrying about the supercharger network, and most Tesla vehicles aim for that goal. Depending on the variant, the battery capacity listed by Tesla for model the 2nd of May end up being smaller and insufficient to achieve a range of 300 miles on a single charge. Evercore analysts currently predict that the Tesla Model 2 will have an operating range of 250 miles from the approximately 53 kilowatts battery PC mentioned. Although it's said to be about 30% lighter than the Model 3, however, reducing the driving range by 50 miles is a trade-off that many people might be willing to accept at the final price of the Tesla Model 2, around 25 grand before any potential credits or tax incentives. All the impressive charging speed information about Tesla's third-generation $25,000 electric vehicle has been disclosed by the CEO of Cattle, and Tesla is planning to bring the electric vehicle component manufacturing process back to the U.S. utilizing the most advanced battery technology available today. Previously, there were rumors that Cattle would provide equipment and technology to Tesla to expand battery production at Gig Nevada. While there is a SIM project between Ford and Cattle, Cattle Tesla clearly aims for more dependence on its manufacturing planet Nevada, especially concerning regulations and those $7,500 federal tax credit benefits. The advantage of iron phosphate LFP chemistry is its ability to produce cheaper and safer battery packs despite having lower energy density. However, this can be offset by their ability to be safely fully charged each time and Cattle's M3P technology with added manganese could increase the energy density of phosphate by up to 15%. Cattle quotes a charging time of 15 minutes, but that's typical between 20 and 80%. However, the big benefit of the new battery technology seen in the Model 2 is its ability to fully charge in half an hour, even in freezing weather conditions, as demonstrated in that recent cold snap in Chicago. So. Which product will be weighed against Tesla's $25,000 EV amid the anticipation and excitement in the electric car market? General Motors' upcoming Chevrolet Bolt EV 2025 is garnering attention with promising significant improvements, 
set to debut by the end of 2025 or early 2026. As predicted by CEO Mary Barra, the Chevy Bolt Gen 2 is expected to embody the characteristics of a bright future, along with an enticing price point ranging from $25,000 to $30,000. One of the most notable changes in the Bolt EV 2025 is its new platform, signifying a shift to GM's modern Altium platform. This flexible design is optimized to accommodate various types of electric vehicles, coupled with the use of lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries. The Bolt EV 2025 not only enhances cost effectiveness, but also prolongs the lifespan of the battery. While there's no precise estimate on the range yet, the Bolt EV 2025 is poised to surpass the current model's range by a significant margin. With a combination of the Ultium platform and advanced battery technology, the vehicle is likely to achieve a range of at least 247 miles, similar to the previous version in 2023. Tesla found itself somewhat overshadowed by the electric dominance of BYD from China. Now, NIO could emerge as a new contender, making Tesla wary with its product, the NIO Firefly. This vehicle has indeed appeared in covertly captured photos, showcasing what seems to be a tall hatchback or a compact crossover under camouflage. NIO's founder, Lee, mentioned in an interview that they're not only releasing an affordable electric car, but also launching it globally including in Europe, with a price tag below 30,000 euros. The starting price point in China could be nearly half in Europe, at $15,000, and it'll hit the global market in the third quarter of 2025. This means the Model 2 will have to compete with a Chinese car in every market, where Giga Berlin will also participate in producing the Model 2 for that market. Finally, but no less importantly, the world's third largest car electric manufacturer continues to lower prices to $22,000 for a small electric car, namely the Volkswagen Point 1. This car will be sized similarly to the current Polo, but expected to debut in 2027. We believe this could be a major competitor to the Model 2, because if the Tesla electric car is delayed beyond 2025, it won't be until 2027 that it can be widely sold. Not stopping there, Volkswagen will also introduce the range of Volkswagen Point 2, all with a range of 280 miles. Of course, this car is expected to debut earlier in 2026, but may have a starting price of around $25,000. Despite all this potential competition, Tesla's Model 2 is still expected to likely lead the race for affordable electric cars in the market due to its reputation and the large community of electric vehicle enthusiasts passionate about Tesla worldwide. The car is expected to sell like hotcakes because many people are still curious to explore what a cheap electric car from a luxury brand includes. Moreover, its price point along with federal or state tax credit incentives could potentially overshadow everything. Meanwhile, Elon's been noted saying that Model 2 will be a revolution in low-cost manufacturing, and analysts that expect that Tesla produces at least 500,000 Model 2 vehicles in 2026 alone. However, Tesla will face challenges from the world's largest car manufacturer, BYD, which has already sold some models in the same price range. Why is Model 2 released later than expected? The revolution in manufacturing that will be represented by that car will blow people's minds. Although Elon Musk has confirmed that the $25,000 Model 2 debuts in 2025, and detailed analyses of production lines and facilities have been made after analysis visited Tesla's Gigafactory in Texas, this plan seems likely to change. According to them, the narrative of this affordable car shifting to 2027 as the scheduled launch in 2025 becomes increasingly improbable. Over the past years, Tesla has experienced significant growth in production deliveries. But now, Wall Street's beginning to doubt the sustainability of this growth. Despite Tesla publicly communicating to investors about the transition from two major growth waves as they develop next-generation vehicles, analysts at Evercore believe that this story won't truly unfold until 2027. According to a new note to investors, Tesla plans to begin production of the new Model 2 by late 2025, but Evercore suggests that significant growth will occur two years later, 
meaning this $25,000 model will truly explode in 2027 rather than before. Chris Mackian of Evercore also noted that the best case scenario for production and deliveries in 2026 is around half a million units only, half of Wall Street's predictions for the same period. Not stopping there, the interior of the Model 2, although it may not be too bad, we dare to say it'll receive less investment compared to Model 3 and Model Y in terms of cabin systems such as materials, a smaller control screen of around 12 inches, and fewer audio speakers. Of course, this is a simplification aimed at achieving the $25,000 price point, as the manufacturer committed. Why will the Model 2 be built in a never-before-seen way? Do you know the familiar Honda Civic? We have noted information that Tesla engineers directly disassembled this car to understand how Honda efficiently produces a crossover with a price tag of $23,000. Of course, Elon will not be applying Honda's manufacturing methods because, at least we're aware of Tesla's unbox process, a miraculous manufacturing platform at the Texas factory that allows 10,000 vehicles to roll out every week. For those who are not familiar with this process, specifically groups of people and robots will work together to completely assemble the separate parts of the car before combining them in one go. For example, the doors will be fabricated, painted, wired, and the door panels will be assembled off the car before being bolted to the end of the line. This means that the car is only completely built once. Musk claims that this will deliver a 30% improvement in time space and efficiency, as well as making the car about 50% cheaper than Model 3 and Model Y. The unbox process is more like building a Lego than a traditional production line. Instead of a large rectangular car moving along a linear conveyor belt, parts are assembled simultaneously in dedicated areas, and then sub-assemblies are all put together at the end. Tesla says the change could reduce manufacturing footprints by more than 40% allowing the carmaker to build future plants far faster and at less expense. If the new assembly process is successful, Tesla says it can slash production costs in half. That will be key to delivering a cheap enough car to stoke demand that has slowed as of late and pressured the electric carmaker's stock price. Lars Maravi, Tesla's VP of Vehicle Engineering, stated that during the company's investment day in March of last year, if we're going to scale the way we wanted to, we have to rethink manufacturing again. Musk emphasized that this would be a manufacturing line unlike any seen before, and this $25,000 car would represent a significant revolution, considering both the manufacturing technology and Elon's statements. Launching the next-gen car next year is entirely feasible. Why would the Model 2 performance specs be controversial? When it comes to the performance specs of the Model 2, the new LFP battery from Cattle is indeed the weapon that will help this next-gen vehicle surpass its numerous competitors. But first, let's talk about some of the specs it might achieve. Elon, in a bold statement, emphasized that a 300-mile range is sufficient for everyday driving without worrying about reaching supercharging stations. This truly sets a new standard for the automotive industry and Tesla models are aiming for this goal depending on the specific version, with rumors suggesting a battery pack capacity of around 54 kilowatt hours for Tesla's Model 2. It can be predicted that the driving range of this vehicle might decrease significantly below the 300 mile mark. Instead of the initially expected range, a single charge may only ensure 250 to 270 miles, a figure that's still impressive, but less than what was initially hoped for. Analysts from Evercore are also predicting that the Tesla model the 2nd of May only achieve around 250 miles from the 53 kilowatt hour battery pack. Although this type of battery is believed to be about 30% lighter than that in the Model 3, however, despite the slight reduction in range, if the final price of the Tesla Model 2 is maintained at around $25,000 before any discounts or tax incentives, then this is indeed a trade-off that many people might be willing to accept. Returning to Tesla's newly confirmed cattle battery, although it may not provide the Model 2 with a 300-mile operating range, it can be compensated by extending the battery's lifespan. Cattle's LFP batteries are well known for their extended lifespan, 
compared to traditional lithium-ion batteries. Tesla's decision to equip the Model 2 with LFP batteries is a strategic move to provide consumers with a more durable and cost-effective electric vehicle option. With the LFP battery, the Model the 2nd of May require less frequent battery replacements, reducing long-term ownership costs and enhancing overall user satisfaction. Additionally, LFP batteries are considered safer than traditional lithium-ion batteries, offering better thermal stability and reduced risk of fire or explosion, further enhancing the safety of the Model 2 for users.